Imagine this, you're not hungry, not even close. Yet, you find yourself reaching for that bag of chips again. Ever wonder why? Is it just because it tastes good or is something else at play? Could it be that food is designed to be more than just sustenance, crafted to keep us coming back for more, craving bite after bite? But here's the real question. Are you truly choosing to eat or has your brain already made the decision for you? In today's video, we're diving into the science and secrets behind the addictive nature of food and why you might not be as in control as you think. How is food so addictive? Food can be addictive for several reasons, primarily due to the combination of biological, psychological, and environmental factors. Dopamine and reward system. Certain foods, especially those high in sugar, fat, and salt, trigger the brain's reward system, releasing dopamine, a feel-good chemical. This creates a pleasurable sensation that encourages repeat consumption, similar to the way addictive substances work. Highly processed foods, Processed foods are engineered to maximize taste and appeal, often combining sugar, fat, and salt in ways that stimulate cravings. These hyperpalatable foods can overpower the body's natural hunger and fullness signals. Emotional eating. People often use food as a way to cope with emotions like stress, sadness, or boredom. The comfort and temporary relief provided by food can create a cycle of emotional eating, conditioning, and habits. Over time, people can develop habits and associations with food, such as eating while watching TV or snacking at certain times even when they're not hungry. These behaviors can become hard to break, reinforcing the cycle of overconsumption. Marketing and availability. Food companies market addictive foods aggressively, making them highly accessible and appealing. The constant availability of fast food snacks and sugary drinks increases consumption. Understanding these factors can help in developing strategies to manage food addiction, such as mindful eating, focusing on whole foods, and addressing emotional triggers. What are the ratios of salts, sugar, and fat in addictive foods? Addictive foods typically contain specific combinations of salt, sugar, and fat designed to maximize their appeal and trigger cravings. While there's no fixed ratio that applies to all foods, researchers and food manufacturers have identified bliss point formulations, which are the, are the ideal combinations of these ingredients that make foods the most appealing. Here are some general trends regarding the ratios of salt, sugar, and fat in addictive foods. Sugar. Sugar is often added to foods in significant amounts to enhance flavor and create a strong sense of pleasure. For highly addictive processed foods, sugar content can range from 15% to 40% by weight. Sweet snacks, like candy, ice cream, and sodas, often push toward the higher end of this spectrum. Fat. Fat provides richness and improves texture, making foods more satisfying and palatable. Addictive foods can have fat content between 20% and 45%. Foods like chips, pastries, and fast food often contain high levels of both saturated and unsaturated fats. Salt. Salt intensifies flavor and acts as a preservative. In highly processed addictive foods, the salt content can vary widely but is generally between 1% and 5% by weight. Salty snacks like chips, fries, and processed meats often rely on high salt content to enhance taste. Typical ratios in addictive foods, sugary snacks, e.g. candy cookies, high sugar, 30%, 40%, moderate fat, 20%, 30%, low salt, 1%, 3%. Salty snacks, e.g. chips, crackers, high fat, 30%, 40%, moderate salt, 5%, lower sugar. Fast food, e.g. burgers, pizza, moderate sugar, 5%, high fat, 30%, 50%, high salt, 2 to 5%. These ratios are designed to hit the, the bliss point where the combination of sugar, fat, and salt is irresistible, leading to overconsumption. When was this bliss point discovered? The concept of the bliss point was discovered and developed over several decades, with significant research done in the 1970s and 1980s. It was pioneered primarily by Howard Moskowitz, an American market researcher and psychophysicist. Moskowitz, who had a background in experimental psychology, is credited with applying scientific methods to optimize the appeal of processed foods. In the 1970s, while working with food companies, Moskowitz conducted experiments to determine the ideal levels of sugar, salt, and fat in products. He found that there was a specific level, neither too little nor too much, of each of these ingredients that created maximum pleasure for consumers. This optimal combination became known as the bliss point, 
a term that refers to the precise amount of sugar, fat, or salt that makes food most palatable and in some cases, addictive. Moskowitz's work revolutionized how food companies formulated their products. By finding the bliss point for various foods, companies could create products that were more irresistible to consumers, leading to increased sales and the rise of processed foods that are now staples in many diets. This concept is still widely used by food manufacturers today to develop snacks, beverages, and fast foods that are designed to be highly appealing and hard to resist. What are the side effects of being addicted to these kinds of foods? Being addicted to highly processed foods that are rich in sugar, fat, and salt can lead to several negative health effects, both physically and mentally. Here are some common side effects. One, weight gain and obesity, excess calories. Addictive foods tend to be calorie dense, leading to overeating. The overconsumption of such foods is a major contributor to weight gain and obesity. Fat storage. The high fat content in these foods combined with sugar promotes fat storage, particularly around the abdomen, increasing the risk of metabolic disorders. Two, increased risk of chronic diseases. Type two diabetes, regular consumption of sugar-laden foods can lead to insulin resistance and over time to type two diabetes. Heart disease, diets high in saturated fats, trans fats, and excessive salt can lead to high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and an increased risk of heart disease. Hypertension, the high salt content in processed foods can lead to high blood pressure, increasing the risk of stroke and heart attack. Three, mental and emotional effects. Mood swings, blood sugar spikes and crashes from sugary foods can result in mood swings, irritability and fatigue. Depression and anxiety, diets high in processed foods have been linked to an increased risk of depression and anxiety due to nutrient deficiencies and inflammation caused by poor food quality. Food cravings and emotional eating. The constant cycle of cravings for highly palatable foods can lead to emotional dependence on food further reinforcing the addiction. Four, digestive issues. Poor digestion. Processed foods are often low in fiber, leading to digestive problems such as constipation or bloating. Gut health. The lack of nutrients in these foods can disrupt the gut microbiome, leading to poor gut health and inflammation, which can affect overall well-being. Five, poor nutritional intake. Nutrient deficiencies. Addictive foods are often low in essential vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. Over time, this can result in nutrient deficiencies, affecting immune function, bone health, and energy levels. Malnutrition. Even if a person consumes many calories, they may still be malnourished because the food lacks the necessary nutrients for healthy bodily functions. Six, addiction-like behaviors. Compulsive eating. These foods can trigger behaviors similar to drug addiction, where individuals feel compelled to eat even when they are not hungry, driven by cravings and reward-seeking behavior. Loss of control. Over time, individuals may feel a loss of control over their eating habits on eating more than intended, which can lead to guilt and shame. Cognitive decline, memory and learning issues. Diets high in sugar and fat have been associated with cognitive impairments, affecting memory, learning, and decision-making abilities over time. Brain fog, the lack of essential nutrients, and the constant fluctuations in blood sugar can result in difficulty concentrating and brain fog. Eight, increased risk of cancer. Processed ingredients. Many highly processed foods contain artificial additives, preservatives, and chemicals that may increase the risk of certain cancers when consumed in large quantities over time. Obesity-related cancers. Obesity itself is a known risk factor for cancers of the breast, colon, liver, and others. Nine, dental problems, tooth decay, sugary foods and drinks increase the risk of cavities and gum disease due to their tendency to stick to teeth and feed harmful bacteria in the mouth. 10. Sleep disturbances. Insomnia. Eating high sugar or fatty foods late at night can disrupt sleep patterns, making it harder to fall asleep or stay asleep. Poor sleep quality, overeating, especially foods high in fat, can lead to indigestion or acid reflux, affecting sleep quality. These effects are often cumulative, meaning that the longer someone consumes these types of addictive foods, the more severe the health consequences become. Overcoming food addiction typically requires mindful eating, dietary changes, and sometimes professional help. So next time you find yourself reaching for that irresistible snack, take a moment to pause and think, is it really hunger or is it something deeper? The more we understand the hidden forces behind our cravings, 
the more control we can take back. If you found this video eye-opening, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more insights into the surprising science behind everyday life. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on new content. And while you're here, why not check out some of my other videos on how your mind works? Trust me, there's a lot more to uncover. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.